this uh, next demo, I thought we'd uh, I'd do something sort of quite structured in terms of uh, a canal. Um, the previous one that I did was was a very kind of loose sort of you know um, natural kind of water water kind of scene. Whereas uh, this one is uh, of the uh, of the bridges in uh, at Sydney Gardens in Bath. So this is a photograph uh, that I found on the internet and uh, I've just roughly kind of drawn it out and um, we'll go and have a, have a go at painting it. So I'm going to start again with that kind of loose uh, wash as I normally do kind of underneath um, and then start building up the painting over the top of that. Okay, so let's... Uh... Mix up a little bit of a kind of yellowy kind of colour to get the lightest colours in first. So I'm starting off with that lovely kind of green there. Then I think here we can kind of see the sky kind of peeping through. blue in there as well. So once again I'm kind of putting in the colours um, almost kind of where I think they need to be. Um, so at, at this stage, you know, I'm just trying to reserve as much of the kind of lighter areas that I possibly can um, and just, you know, start thinking about where those other, you know, the remainder of those colours then need to go. Okay, so I'll let that dry and uh, let it fully dry and, uh, and then we'll come back and do the next bit. Okay, so that's all nice and dried now and uh, I'm ready for the next layer of colour. So um, in terms of uh, the way that I'm kind of thinking about painting this, um, because I always kind of tend to have a little bit of a plan in my head um, so that I know, you know, almost kind of like where I'm going with it. Um, so this side here where I've got this kind of darker area um, and you can kind of see that from the picture here it's although my printer has gone haywire and I've got stripes all over it but um, I've got this darker area here uh, and then I've got this lovely sort of lightness on this side so my idea with it is, is to is to kind of use sort of cooler colors on this side so harking back to our kind of color harmonies uh, project. I'm going to have a lot of kind of cool colours on this side and the kind of warmer tones, lighter tones here, uh, over here. So that's that's what I'm kind of thinking about right now uh, as I'm kind of doing this next uh, layer of colour. Okay, so I'm actually going to start right here in the centre and kind of work my way out because uh, I think that will be the uh, 
the easiest way forward.
Okay, so I'm going to stop there for now, um, allow that all to dry and then just take a, one more look at it uh, after having a little bit of a break um, and we'll see where to go from there. Okay, so this is now nice and dry and I've got my last layer of colour that I kind of need to put down. So really what I need to do is kind of really look at my darks. Uh, and where it needs to go darker. And I think here it's still looking a little bit kind of too light. Um, so I kind of need to really kind of go for it now and kind of like put that dark in. Um, so that's what I'm going to do first and then that will allow me to sort of reassess uh, everything else that I kind of need to do. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry for a little while and then I'm going to take the masking fluid off and just have one last look at it. Okay, so I'm just going to be using some white um, kind of gouache just to add uh, some parts of the bridge back in um, that have kind of got lost along the way. Um, so I'm just using the rigger, a fine kind of brush to kind of do that. Okay, so the last thing that I really wanted to kind of show you is um, when you've got some kind of little kind of dappled bits of kind of light coming through. So what I tend to do is kind of use some white um, brush with some clean water on it and then just very gently kind of, you know, place it on and then you can kind of lift out little kind of pockets of um light you know which 
may have kind of got lost along the way um, and you can kind of try and bring some of those back. Okay, and then the last thing really I wanted to show you is if you've gone too and you've lost so much sky that there's, you know, there has gone a little bit too green, for example, you can use your white gouache um, and kind of mix that up with a blue. So I'm just going to use some cobalt blue. Um, just mix a little bit of that up. So I've got a little bit of my white gouache there and I'm mixing a blue um, in here like that. Um, and then you can kind of go back in and sort of bring some of these blue areas, you know, back in. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and um, I think that's pretty much done. So.